Hello again classy people, this is Josh the Top Hat Gamer and this week I'm reviewing Tembo the Badass Elephant. If you know me then you know I grew up on platformers, specifically those that starred anthropomorphic animals. Sonic the Hedgehog, Crash Bandicoot, Croc, Gex, the list goes on. Just a glimpse of this week's game stirred the nostalgia in me, so is Tembo really badass? Or is he simply ass? Let's find out. Tembo the Badass Elephant takes place in Shell City, a peanut-centric metropolis that is under attack from an evil army known as Phantom. Shell City's military forces can't hold off the relentless assault, and so the only reasonable course of action is to call in a battle-hardened soldier elephant by the name of Tembo. And that's kind of it. The narrative is pretty bare-bones, but it gets the job done. Most of the story is told through comic panels that rely on low levels of animation instead of actual voiced cutscenes. It's a charming approach to storytelling, but that's about it. The game's presentation overall is very charming. The basic cartoon-style characters work well with the game's light-hearted tone, and Tembo himself has a brilliant design that is instantly recognizable and memorable. The game's sound design is solid as well. Much of the game's music is reminiscent of classic action movies with heavy brass and percussion tracks. The constant crashes and explosions bring a chaotic atmosphere to every level though the sound mixing feels a little bit off to be honest. I had to turn the volume on my TV right up to hear anything at all. As I said earlier, I love platformers, and while Tembo is certainly a platformer, playing it honestly didn't feel great. It feels like a mix of Sonic the Hedgehog and the Rambi sections from Donkey Kong Country, and while that sounds like a solid combination on paper, it doesn't hold up as well as I would have hoped in action. Each level in Tembo the Badass Elephant presents players with three objectives. The first and most simple of these is to complete the level, and you'll do this by charging and leaping your way through obstacles and across chasms. I have mixed feelings towards the base platform mechanics. On the one hand, charging through walls and cars feels fast and satisfying, but on the other hand, Tembo's jump feels slow and unresponsive. So when you find yourself on a roll rampaging through buildings, the game's pace comes crashing to a halt when you need to go airborne. For what it's worth, Tembo the Badass Elephant does get access to a decent variety of moves, including aerial storms, diving bounce attacks, and he can even shoot water from his trunk. The trunk ability in particular is an interesting way to add new elements into the mix. For example, certain enemies shoot flames at you, and obviously you can counter that with your water spray, but you have to watch out when you're facing electricity-based enemies. Speaking of which, the enemies you'll encounter are mostly inconsequential, but when you come across tanks, helicopters, and mechs, things get a bit more interesting. Luckily, Tembo is constantly introducing new types of enemies throughout the course of the game. Aside from just completing levels, you're tasked with eliminating all phantom forces, as well as rescuing all phantoms hostages as well. While dispatching every phantom soldier sounds pretty straightforward, it's made needlessly irritating by the way that enemies and vehicles don't count unless you double back and finish the job. Tembo's issue with maintaining pace rears its ugly head yet again. On a more positive note, rescuing hostages feels far more rewarding than your other goals, as each hostage you save then rides on your back till the end of the level. It's a cool detail, and actually finding these hostages is a decent challenge, reminiscent of the giant coins in the new Super Mario Bros. games. Possibly the most memorable part of the game are the boss fights. They're unique and fun to battle, but the difficulty spikes unexpectedly for the last two. They can get sort of frustrating due to the sluggish controls, but for the most part they're a good deal of fun. I just wish there were more bosses to take on than the poultry four that were on offer. While I'm conflicted with regards to the gameplay of Tembo the Badass Elephant, the game's worst aspect is its short length and the way it feels padded out. Not only does Tembo the Badass Elephant utilize an outdated live system, it locks off later levels until you rid Shell City of an arbitrary amount of phantom forces. I realize that Mario games do this too, but at least they have more than six or seven levels before they do it. And to top it off, there aren't many levels at all to begin with. While length doesn't necessarily mean value, Tembo's short length makes my frustration towards the game's already so-so gameplay even worse. I think frustrating is the best way to describe Tembo the Badass Elephant. Its charming visuals and concept make me want to love the game, and while it's great fun to charge and crash through the various obstacles in your path, as soon as you do any actual platforming, your momentum dies. The boss fights are great, despite odd jumps and difficulty, and Tembo the Badass Elephant makes a valiant attempt to try to mix things up with the inclusion of a few neat skills and enemies. But at the end of the day, it's short and has serious issues with keeping the action at a fun pace. Tembo the Badass Elephant gets the Top Hat Gamer rating of mediocre. 
I really did want to love this game, but when the act of jumping from platform to platform feels sluggish and unresponsive, let's face it, your platformer just isn't very good. There's still a fair amount to enjoy about this game, like its memorable visuals and varied bosses, but the core gameplay needs a lot of work. If you're desperate for a new platformer, give this one a look, but I'd recommend waiting until Tembo gets a price cut. Thanks for watching. I hope you found the review informative. If you missed last week's review on her story, click the annotation. Now if you'll excuse me, Tembo's obsession with peanuts has made me really, really hungry. And I'm gonna go eat. See ya.